Okay. Well, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming to this test class. Um, today we are going to be doing some mindful movement. Um, it's also a part of Traeger work. Milton Traeger was uh, a person that uh, discovered this way of moving their of his body and finding a way of ease through moving the body, but the goal was to reach the mind. So it's a very particular form of uh, body work. And hi, Celeste, welcome. Uh, oh, hi, Anne, how are you doing? Welcome, I was just getting started. Um, and so um, Traeger work, if you're not familiar with it, is a form of body work that practitioners can be trained in. And it's table work, but there's also another component called mentastics. And that component um, is the movement component that sort of ties everything all together for a person and gives an application for daily life use. So um, what, is, what is this trigger work? So um, it's a mentally directed movement um, form of body work. So when we're moving, it's not really like an exercise, like, yeah, let's, let's um, develop our biceps. Um, so the goal is not to develop like tone or anything like that in the body. What the goal is, is to enjoy the process of moving and also just be able to reach the mind because the simpler the movement, the simpler the message gets in there deeper. So um, a couple of the um, components of this movement activity is that we don't, we don't inf uh, create uh, force. We don't use force to move our bodies. We just have this effortless approach to the movements. Um, we stay within our range of motion and our comfortability. We're not trying to do something, that the doing something is actually the goal. And creating that experience, that inner awareness of our body. And what is the feeling? Does it feel soft? Oh, actually, it doesn't yeah, it's feeling a little hard right now, actually. So just being able to cultivate and find the language to describe what we're feeling in our bodies is kind of what we're after. Um, so um, basically how this works is I'll lead you through a series of movements, very simple movements, and we'll pause periodically so that your body and your mind can integrate the information that you're receiving. Um, and I'll be asking questions, and while everybody's on mute, I'd love for you to just use this as, as an opportunity to cultivate uh, a space for yourself to have a rich in, inner dialogue with yourself about what you're feeling. Um, and what are the feeling qualities associated with it? Like, ooh, yeah, this feels juicy. This feels really nice right now. But what would it be like if I did half of that? What if I could go softer with myself and be gentler with ourselves? Um, Milton Traeger used to say, you do nothing and something happens. So that's what we're after today. We're after doing a lot of nothing because the resultant is that something is going to happen. And staying curious as to what that something is, is, is perfect. That's exactly where we want to be. So I'd like to invite you now to just say hello to your body. Now take a walk in the space that you're in. Just take a walk and really turn your focus in your internal environment. Feel how your feet are feeling your heels and the balls of your toes. How does it feel when you walk? How are your knees feeling? How is your hip feeling? 
Is it, uh, is there a ripple of a feeling all the way up in your shoulders when you're walking? What are you noticing? And just shifting our focus inwards in this moment. Finding out what zero effort feels like. What does zero effort feel like while we're walking? And go ahead and take a pause and come to stillness. And just drink in the sensations that you're feeling in this moment. And what are the feelings that you're feeling in your body as a result of that walk? Is there an enlivening in the legs, in the feet, maybe increased blood flow? What are the senses that you're feeling? And in this stillness, just take a body scan and take an inventory of what you're feeling in your body. And you don't have to say, this feels good, this feels bad. Just sort of meeting all the sensations in the body with a curiosity. And just taking note how you're feeling in this moment. So I'd like to invite you now to just start to shift your weight, bringing whatever awareness that you just came to in that walk. And I'd love for you to just start shifting your weight from left to right. And just start to allow the feet to wake up. All the areas of the feet. From the outside of the foot to the inside of the foot. And just feeling that gravity, feeling your feet really firmly planted on the ground. and feeling the counter gravity coming up to meet you. Feeling that ground coming up to meet your feet. And feeling that earth supporting you and even pushing back a little bit. And then maybe our spine is coming upright as that earth energy is just moving upward up through our bodies. And then just take a pause, come to the center and come to stillness and pause. And just feel the resonance, both locally in your feet and globally throughout your whole body what are the things that you're noticing as a result of that shifting weight? All we did was shift weight and look at all of the beautiful feeling qualities that are now arriving. So now I'd like to invite you to move forward and backward so that you're coming up onto your toes, and then back into your heels, onto your toes, and back on your heels. And just stay within a nice range of motion, no efforting. Just allowing this movement to be easeful and pleasurable. Feeling the body calm feeling the breathing level, feeling the mind maybe turning toward even more inward. 
And can you catch the moment where your the momentum pushes you and you have to grip with your toes to keep from falling over when you move forward? And likewise, when you're backward, when do you pull yourself back when you're moving into your heels so that you don't fall? And can you sense that? And maybe staying away from that edge, maybe kind of going more in the center so we're not at that gripping place. Just playing with it, having a great time exploring our bodies. We think we know everything about our bodies, but there's, there's so many mysteries in there. And it's just wonderful to explore all of these rich experiences that we have to be revealed to us in our bodies. And then coming to the center again and pausing Breathing, integrating, resting, feeling the echoes of those movements may be radiating in our bodies. So let's take this shifting weight and slowly move around the room with it. We, and we're, we have nowhere to go and nothing to do. We're just slowly shifting weight while we take, take a walk with it. And what would it be like, we're gonna get silly now, if we had a tail? And that big, heavy dinosaur tail was really the thing that was dragging on the ground and it's swaying and our trunk is just sort of walking with a little swing to it because we've got this big dinosaur tail that's knocking everything over in our rooms. and the momentum from that tail swing, it's just sending our hips to the side comfortably, all within our comfortable range of motion. We don't wanna have any, um, throw our hips out or anything. We wanna stay in a comfortable place. And we can even mimic the tail movement with our hands if we wanted to. How that tail is just swinging to the side with every sway of the hip. Swoosh, swoosh. And just seeing what this feels like in your own body, because this is your experience. And you feel this experience as an inhabitant in your body. And if this doesn't feel good, you can move to another movement that feels better. And why don't we go ahead and take a pause and come to stillness. And breathe. Come back in, shall we? So I'd love you to just take that nice movement again, the nice swaying movement. And if you want to keep seated and you feel fatigued with your legs, you can still sit down and do this. And so I'd like to invite you to start sculpting your chest. And this is another Traeger component. It's just called sculpting because just like a sculptor sculpts their, their creation, we're sculpting our body and we're really taking our time with it. 
we're feeling all of the tissue, we're feeling the bony landmarks, the clavicle, and the other clavicle. Whew. And we can just let that arm, that other arm just kind of fly out to the side. And we can even be brushing off what no longer serves us right now. If we feel any heaviness in our chest, the weight of the world on our shoulders and our chest, we can just envision that just sort of whew, being gently laid down to the side. And then just take one more sculpt and then come back to center and pause and breathe. And feel into the chest and feel if there's any kind of sensations now. Maybe I feel a popping, like a little enlivening that's happening at the chest. And then just start to sculpt your arm and your hand with the other arm and uh, with the other hand. And we'll start with one hand. I don't know what one you started with, but just start with one hand and just slowly sculpt the other arm as if this was the only job that you had to do today. We've carved out five hours to sculpt this arm. What can we find when we go that slow? I'm feeling lots of contour in the tissue of my arm. I'm feeling the texture of my skin. I'm sort of dragging my finger pads over the fascia and the skin. And I'm really going to spend time sculpting these hands. Oh my goodness. There's got to be like 15 or 20 muscles in this bad boy right here. I'm just going to sculpt it each finger. It's so luxurious to sculpt this, this hand. <sighs> and then just pause in the center. What are you noticing about the hand that you and the arm that you just sculpted? I'm feeling little shan champagne bubbles that are enlivening my my arm and my hand. So let's go ahead and do it with the other arm. We're sculpting this arm. Gently, full of ease. Just doing an ordinary movement, but creating extraordinary sensations. And just wading in the plat in the vast ocean of pleasantness. This is it right here. This is a pleasant moment. This is a wonderful moment. Just enjoying feeling the contours. And now I can feel the bones in my forearms, my ulna, my radius. And now I'm with the fingers all the different muscles that have to be dynamic so that I can move my hand. I'm really having some really deep appreciation for this hand right now. One more sculpt, nice and slow. <sighs> And coming back to center and pause, just allowing yourself to surrender 
into the vast ocean of pleasantness and giving yourself over to this moment. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, just being in the here and now. Feel into the right and left arms and the chest and just feel the sensations that are popping in those places. I feel like there's a force field around my upper body. So the next thing I'd like to invite you to do is to start with having our arms floating in water. And just softening those knees, allowing a bounce to come in and not holding the arms up so that they're fatiguing in any way, but just imagining that they're being buoyant in the water and that there's this hook that's coming up from the ceiling and lifting and elongating your spine so that you have this ability to just allow your arms to be buoyant in the water. And if this is too fatiguing, just try one. What, it would, what would it be like if we were supported by a cloud? What if our arms were held up by a cloud, a puffy cloud shaped like a peep? <laughs> That's what shape my cloud is. <laughs> and that's getting a little fatiguing, but I'm going to switch to the other side. I'm feeling just this buoyancy, this weightlessness. And now what would it be like to swim with such soft arms and soft shoulders? And the effort is not, it's not effortful. It just feels so easeful. And if the range is too much for you, just doing half of that, what would it feel like to just barely swim? You can get the essence of the movement, but the movement itself is very small. And can you sense stillness inside that movement while you're moving? And just take a pause here and breathe. Feeling into those muscles, feeling into those bones in the shoulders. And also kind of bringing into your awareness now your, your legs and your hips. What are they feeling in all of this? They're definitely a part of the party. And then finally, I'd like to invite you to pick some grapes. Let's go to Italy and be with my ancestors, maybe your ancestors too. And we can just pick those grapes. And what would it be like to pick the grape in such an easeful way that it doesn't feel effortful? Like you could just pick these grapes all day because it's such a pleasurable experience. And this could also be uh, applied when we're in the grocery store and we're picking up our toilet paper. <laughs> oh God, why did they put the toilet paper on the top shelf? Gentleness, inviting 
ease into this movement. And then just taking a pause. <sighs> Maybe feeling those sh shoulder blades enlivened. Maybe feeling them just hanging off the back, like a flag on a flagpole. Any and all experiences are welcome here, and your experience is your very own. And the last thing that I'd like to show you is some neck work. And I'd like to show you my little friend. He's got a little, a bobbing head. Can you see that? This is the kind of head that we would like to have. I'll show him again afterwards, but I'd like to envision that you're on the top of your head here, you have a paintbrush. And you're going to draw a plus sign on the ceiling with your paintbrush. So what would it be like to do that? All the while staying within your comfortable range of motion. Flexion forward, extension backward and then side bending. No effort, just staying within your comfortable range of motion here. And I know some of you just painted a room. And so when we paint one, one coat of paint, it's not enough. We have to just keep going over because there'll be some spots where you can see through it. So we're just painting that, that plus sign on the ceiling. And whatever movement you're doing, what could be half of that movement? Even if it looks to other people like you're not doing anything, you're not moving your head, what would it be like to still do that plus sign movement but have the smallest movement possible? Just being in that comfortable range of motion and taking movement so subtly. And pausing, breathing, relaxing, healing. What if we could draw a circle on the ceiling with our paintbrush on the top of our heads? We're inviting our necks into full range of motion here, circumduction for the neck. We're going flexion, side bending. We're at an angle, extension, and then all the way around again. And just be sure that you don't strain anything here. You want to go nice and gentle. And the goal is to just feel. Maybe I am feeling all of these little click, click, clicks because I feel all my ropey tendons. And I feel my cervical vertebrae kind of crack, crack, crack in. And I'm just going to make that movement 50% smaller. And then reversing whenever you're ready. And just drawing the circle the other way. Beautiful. Great job.
And so just take a pause. <sighs> Feel into the sensations in the neck and just sense what's going on here. What's going on at the neck? So I'd like to invite you to make a masterpiece. So draw whatever you want on the ceiling. You can make your Leonardo da Vinci, or you can just do your special, your special masterpiece. And just be careful not to strain your neck, just staying in that nice comfortable range of motion, exploring what your neck is doing and making your masterpiece with the paintbrush on the ceiling. And don't forget to sign it. That's the important part right there. Don't forget to sign it. How do I draw my name with my head? <laughs> Beautiful. And when you feel ready, just coming to this center and pause. Coming to stillness. <sighs> so go ahead and take one last walk. And when you do, I'd like to invite you to have that sky hook. And it's this hook that's dangling down from the sky. And you have a hook that's right here on the top of your head. And it's something that's just holding you up so much so that you're dangling, your body's dangling in gravity. And you don't even have to effort and like um, uh, banana your back or anything. Like you don't have to force it or anything. Just to allow this genuine stacked vertebra feeling to emerge. I almost feel like a queen. I feel very regal. I like that hair tossle, Diana. <laughs> oh, 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 what, this old thing, this gold robe? <laughs> All right, and then come back to center, my queens. And take a pause. Feel the elongation of the spine. See if you can feel spaces in between all of those vertebra. Lumbar, thoracic, cervical, sacral. Lots and lots of space created from that skyhook. Ease is the sign of grace in everything. Marty Rubin. Whenever you feel anything less than being in ease and joy, look for where you are efforting resistance. Shift your focus to love and appreciation by looking for things that make you feel good. Sanchita Pandi. <laughs> <laughs> 